Hey, Amit, hope you're well. A um, bit of context. So I've been using Groove since last year. So as an SDR, now I'm an AE. So what I can give is just from um, you know, a rep's point of view. You can see that you know, I, I love automation. So I'm you know, one of the biggest users um, for Groove. Now, now, this video is more to give um, an idea for anyone you know, thinking about Groove. You know, believe me, video things, if you can accept. Because um, you know, there are a lot of good things with Groove. So, and, and I think they, they, they will tell you. I guess just point out a few things that I find that can be improved. Or if you are happy with these other things, then you should be good to go. So um, let's say first, we don't use uh, the dialogue, we use a different one. I, the one I was using, I find that there was a, a, a lag in the connection time. So I guess it's the first one to point out. Maybe this has been fixed. And then I'll just give you a bit of idea. So you can launch Groove um, and let's say a three scenario, right? If you are, um, so you, you have a, a new rep that comes in or you want to just copy, uh, the, 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 the copy out the, um, the existing templates so they can just follow. And then also the second scenario will be you want to execute a campaign. Um, Okay, cool. So the first one is when you go have a template, like these are the share folders to you. Um, but what I found is that the difficulty will be, you know, if you want to copy, um, say, these are templates, you have to copy them one by one. Select to, let's just say, a folder. Um, you copy it. And then it will come to here. Then you have to cl click again. If you have other templates you want to copy, you have to just, you know, click again and reselect. So I think it's the first thing. Um, you it would be good to have a multi-select. So in the same way, I find um, it's, all, it's hard to uh, organize all the templates. You've got multiple, you know, delete uh, quite a lot of you know, some copies. So I think this is the first one to look out. The second thing is that um, let's look at, you know, if we create a campaign. So group, um, in this, um, the sequencing is called flow. So usually what I do is, you know, I want to, um, I want to just, you know, duplicate, you know, copy a, a flow because, you know, you include all the automated actions. But sometimes you know, it's very easy to create a copy of all templates. Then, you know, then you get, you know, multiple like, copy of copies. So you, that's why you have, it would be good to have a, a easy way to you know, delete and, and, and control the templates. So this is one thing to look out for. Now, once you have this, then you, know, you, you have the uh, different um, days and sequencing. I see that, um, one is that you know, for example, right now it's day one, day four. So if you want to move this day four thing into, say, day six, maybe you, know, you copy um, the, the, the sequencing, but you want to move it. The problem is that if you've got some active people inside your, um, that day, you can't just really move it. So what I have to do is that I've, I have to I find that I have to move people around. So let's go to say day four, and then um, you need to yeah you need to select the people and then just move them to a, a different different flow and just move back in. So this this is a uh, potential workaround. Now the second thing is that um, let's just say if we go to calling people here, um, so you need to download. So for for group to work, you need to download a, a dialer. So just be mindful, you know, this is um, um, uh, software you need to download. And it used to be they can just, you know, launch from the sidebar. So you need to get a Chrome ex extension um, and also download the software. So it used, used to be the case where you can just, you know, go from here, but, you know, they have up updated it. Um, um, so to watch out. And another thing is that, you know, if you're calling people, um, you, if you want to log, say, a call, you know, just an activity, then I find that you have to do this. Uh, go to dialer and then click something, you know, uh, the subject here, then uh, you, you log it and that that's the only way to um, do that. You can't just use um, the sidebar to do. And say, if you've got also some you know, people you want to skip, you also come multiple, uh, multi uh, skip, you have to, or mass, you have to you know, just you know, skip them, cross them one by one. So if you cross them, they will disappear from all the flow. So you actually have to, like what I did, you have to, okay, you have to log it and then maybe skip this step. Or, uh, and this is the, the way. So maybe it will take some time, I think. Um, um, and another thing is that when you want to, when you're loading uh, all the contacts, they have to be in the Salesforce for, for you to um, send out a sequence. I know that like outreach or some other tools doesn't require this. Maybe this is the price to pay um, you know, with using the, the Salesforce integration. Um, yeah, one thing I I like about them is that um, th th that's a, if you're looking at your multi-touch, you want to be able to uh, you know to send an email, send a, a, a make a call, and also do a LinkedIn. Then I find they are one of the few um, solutions out there where. Uh, you'll be able to, so you need to first have the, the sales navigator, then, you know, for example, you find the right contact, you match it, and then they can just send out the, 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 the invite. So you just need to copy the template and then just copy here and, and do it, so it's better. Um, then other things, you know, because they don't usually have this uh, sales uh, LinkedIn connect, uh, connection. One other thing I like Groove a lot is that I can't live without is the, the reminder. Um, I know at Google, you can you know, snooze it, but I think when you select a reminder, um, just, you know, say like this one, then you will come in as a, a new email. To, to, um, to notify you rather than you know, snooze, and also will be uh, marked as on red. I guess this is uh, a quick thing to, yeah, for you to, to look up. Otherwise, you know, it's got all the usual things, you know, you got a, um, the, the, the analytics, you know, if someone opens you, you know, you get a reminder, et cetera. 
Oh, one last thing to call out is that I think in the same way, over the years, you know, I have created many different uh, sequencing, different flows, and uh, I, I don't think right now that's an easy way. Yeah, I have to delete them one by one. You know, if you by mistake you create a duplicate templates or duplicate um, flows, you have to just you know, delete them one by one. And there are also, so I guess if you are looking at a sequencing tool, there are you know, some based on my, like what I use, um, I, use, I found Apollo is a good one. If you, you know, you don't need, um, you don't need the, uh, the LinkedIn um, connection. Then Apollo only can send out um, emails. I think it's, it's quite easy to use. But if you do need uh, a sales navigator, then I think Lambdas is, uh, is a good um, omni-channel tool you can use. And then also uh, Outplay is another one. Uh, and I know for Outplay, they can also do um, Twitter touch point, so which is quite good. I've used both uh, Apollo and Lambdas. So maybe in the, in the next, I will, I'll make a video about um, the usage. So, and also, if you guys have any other recommendations, uh, you know, leave a comment. Thank you.